Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mama and the Bag Brigade. Well, I must say, I did it again. Well, we all know that Hobby Lobby is the, the, the place where we all dream of going and just saying that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and a lot of this one. Well, sorry, something was on my shirt. Um, I kind of went crazy. It, it, part of it was because they don't have riding carts in Hobby Lobby. So I knew that I only had just a little while to be in there before my left foot went out from under me. And so I was already in pain when I went in there. And they got the, the yarn aisles, aisles, plural, in mine anyway, three of them. Um, <laughs> three, three yarn aisles. I kid you not. Uh, they're way in the back of the daggum store. It's already, you know. And so, first I kind of, you know, lent myself. I'm pushing the cart, which is easier than just walking with a cane. I can push the cart. So, so I pushed I pushed it all the way back there. And I, I kind of looked at, at the yarn first. I just went back and forth look, looking at it first. And then I got some backup hooks in case I lose my other hooks because we all know that can happen. Uh, the hooks that I use all the time. And because I'm kind of, my furrow hooks I'm trying to get used to using because they're not made like my yarnology hooks from Hobby Lobby that I like so much. They're not made the same. The hooks are not even close to like the same. Well, they're just, they're, the furrow hooks are too wide at the tip right underneath the hook part they're just very wide right there and for me at least it's it, it i'm having to kind of adjust i even you know kind of sanded it down a little bit right there i know all of you fur furrows lovers right now are going <gasps> she did what yes i did they're mine i paid for them i can do what the heck i want to with them and so i got some sandpaper and i sanded it down just a little bit to narrow that tip narrow that area that was giving me trouble and it did help but you know i'm just kind of using it a little bit and then i go back to my other hook and just kind of you know back and forth a little bit until i can kind of adjust to it uh or not i don't know <laughs> but they're beautiful and i'm not i'm not sorry that i bought them uh i'm still pr proud to have them i just um i can't use them all the time yet uh so that's that but Anyway, um, I think this trip to Hobby Lobby and the other orders I have uh, that are due in this week and probably next week, I have Lion, Lion brand that still hasn't, I still haven't gotten that yet. That's supposed to be tomorrow. And then Hershner's that I ordered last week that is supposed to be here tomorrow. And I ordered a, a, some from Hobie. H-O-B-B-I-I -I, Hobie, yeah. I ordered from them last week. And I, I don't know when that'll be here. But those those three, I'm still waiting on. And they're not they're not anywhere near this haul that I just did at, at, at Hobby Lobby. Nothing compares to this haul. Trust me on that. Um, <laughs> and I should be ashamed of myself. But I'm not. Because this was a once in a lifetime do for me. I'm never gonna do this again. Um, never gonna be in a position to do this again, or at least I don't foresee that happening. And it was something that dreams are made of, or at least for me, uh, something I'd been dreaming to do when I got my back pay. I was like, oh, I'm gonna go in there and just, just get what the heck I want. And so I did. And I went over budget over the amount that I said I was going to do when I went in there, but you know what? It didn't hurt anything. The bills are still paid and the car money is still not touched. So don't worry about me when you see what I got. So shall we get into it? I got, now you're going to see me show you a piece of yarn, a thing of yarn and then put it to the, uh, and then put it in something. I have two tote boxes at my at, at my left that I'm going to be putting it in. So if you see me kind of toss it, it's because I have something that I'm going to be putting them in. 
So, and yes, I'm probably gonna have to, I'm probably gonna fill up both totes. They're not very big totes, the totes aren't, but maybe they are, I don't know. <laughs> you be the judge. And you're probably gonna say, what is that woman doing? Does she even have room for all that stuff? No, no I don't. <laughs> but I have a closet, a walk-in closet for now. And then we're gonna move and I'm gonna get the biggest room, so you know and of course there's always future giveaways so at some point you know i might decide to do some of that uh, okay oh boy Whew. i should have laid this out but <laughs> i got a lot of the uh of this 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 type of yarn because it it's perfect it's it's so perfect and it's the name of it is perfect and everything so, uh, this color is, let me find the color. They don't make that easy. Fruit Punch. And it is 200% acrylic. It's got 252 yards. It is a four weight yarn. And it is, I love this yarn. And it's beautiful. And I think I got about four of these. <laughs> I, 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 I crochet with two strands. I've tried crocheting with just one strand. It doesn't work for me. So I made sure I had two or four and sometimes six of whatever color I was buying. So anyway, this is one color I got. And so I'm gonna put it. I think that's the other one. Let me see which one is this. I think this is a different color. Yep, this is a different color. Same stats, but this one, it, this was a turquoise, so this is, uh, and we know how I love turquoise. This is called uh, Green Turquoise Red. It looks to me like tie-dyed yarn. You, not not tie-dyed, but you know, some of that hand-dyed yarn, but it looks like hand-dyed yarn put in a skein. It, let me move this down just a little. But it looks like um, the hand dyed yarn put in a skein, and I I don't I, I like hand dyed yarn. I think you know when I see it in hauls and such, but I don't want to fool with Hanks. I don't want anything to do with those. I think I want some when I first started on YouTube. I want some from a very small channel that I don't you know I, I don't know if I want some or bought some. I don't remember, but I tried to ball it up, and it was just a a hot mess and I just ended up I had gotten like three little mini mini hanks and I gave the other two two to somebody my son knows and because the first one just was a hot mess and it was just tangled a tangled mess and I was like no screw this <laughs> I don't want to fool with that but uh so no I don't have any desire to have yarn and hanks it's either a skein or a cake for me maybe a ball but not a hank. I don't like that hank yarn. It's just too much a hassle. Too much hassle for me. Anyway, uh, off the soapbox. But this is five ounces, uh, 142 grams, uh, 252 uh, yards, and 230 meters. And so, and they just were very basic, green, turquoise, red. And I got several of these. Uh, let's see which one is this. That's the fruit punch. That's another one of them. And this I had, uh, I think this is the one I had, yeah. I had this around Christmas time. I bought to make somebody, uh, my, my BFF, Cindy, at Posted Crochet. I made her a hat and cowl set for Christmas. And I mixed this with uh, Varsity Yellow when I loomed her a, a cowl and hat set. And I mixed it with Varsity Yellow, which it came out beautifully. I, if you, she did a video with it uh, so you can check her channel out and she has a video back last year where uh, her and Robert showcased the stuff that uh, I, I made them and sent them uh, but this is Bl Blossomopolis <laughs> I can't pronounce that but I got several of these because when I finally clicked when, when the crochet bug finally clicked with me this was the yarn that really helped me because of the 
because of how it's constructed and how solid it is and of course all of this i love this uh yarn it really they couldn't have named it any better because it is so squish and it's and it's, it's sturdy you can you can crochet this up and frog it and crochet it up and frog it and, and and frog it as many times as you want and and i because trust me when i was trying to learn how to crochet i i, I would you know stitch it up and then frog it stitch it up and frog it and it and it didn't fray and that's why i was did not hesitate on buying more and going a little cuckoo kachoo at the hobby lobby there's another one and there's another one i'm just putting those aside since i already showed that to you <laughs> which one is this yep that's one i already showed you and of course, I wouldn't be me if I didn't buy some cakes. And I like cakes. I love cake yarn. What is this one? This is Yarn B Sugar Wheel. I'm sure y'all have seen these before, but I couldn't resist that beautiful. I like I like turquoise, period. That turquoise and blue, and I do like purple. Um, probably not as much as I like turquoise and green and blues, but I like purple too. Purple comes behind uh, turquoise, green, and blue for me. It's For me, it's turquoise, green, and then blue and then purple and then pink and everything else so that that's kind of the and this one is swooning macaroons <laughs> and i got two of these beautiful little cakes uh i'm gonna put that one in there bounce that in there what's this one that's another fruit punch and i'm pretty sure that's yep Oops, and that hook got hooked on that yarn. Yep, that's another one of them. Okay, and this is the other cake I got. I got two two of each cake because, uh, again, I, I I crochet with two strands. It's, it's something I started when I was loom knitting, and I still can't. I tried crocheting with just one strand. I just, I, I, it doesn't feel right to me. Maybe eventually I can I can do it with one strand, but right now no. Uh, this uh, this is the other sugar uh, yarn bee sugar wheel. It's uh, called Candied Orange, seven ounces, three hundred fifty five yards. And this is a four weight, by the way. And I got two of these. Isn't that beautiful? That's just beautiful. And uh, I figure when I finally figure out how to do a shawl which I think I may end up winging that and doing it and figuring it out all by myself because I don't know. I hadn't quite found the tutorial that really works for me. Um, here we go. The other hooks. And then I got some of this because um, I'm doing a lot of blankets and this will be for uh, Johnny's blanket that I'm going to do him um, his birthday is in may and so i'm gonna make him one for his birthday but he loves this color and i got some other other green color other green for him but i really like this the feel of this better than i do the other the others i feel it feels pretty good but it doesn't feel this good and um this is crafter secret big idea uh see this is a four weight of course and this has got 810 yards uh, 454 grams, 16 ounces. Ooh, this is nice. And this was the uh, the thir the 30 percent off uh, week. I waited to the 30 percent off, so I did go buck wild. But at least I did it on the 30 percent off week. So I'm not entirely crazy. <laughs> not not entirely. <laughs> so I did get two of the the, the green. Ah, uh, okay. That's all of that bag. On to the second bag. And there's three bags, sorry. <laughs> I might be here just a little while. All right, here's another, I love this yarn. And I'm not gonna go, uh, I did get several different kinds, but I got a lot of what I got, uh, let's see. This one is A Aegean Stripe. And again, this is 252 yards. Uh, this is a five ounce gain, 142 uh, grams. So, 
this is really beautiful and it's got your turquoise stripes it's got some gray a little bit of white in there and I got several of these here's a different one this has got tur uh, turquoise and purple and white and let's see what this one's called this is called sea spray ombre and this is gorgeous I really really like this one I really like them all but when you can't choose and you can afford to which this was a one-time deal for me all of this yarn buying is a one-time deal for me um, after this I got to go cold turkey but because uh, you know money is not gonna last forever so anyway stockpiling continues this was this was the last of it uh, but this is very squish and this is gorgeous and of course there's more than one two three nope that's a different one there's four okay and here's another one that looks like hand dyed yarn this one is Scotian sky and same stats just a different but you see you see how that looks like hand dyed yarn to me I mean I can't be the only one that feels like that looks like hand dyed yarn but I feel like I'm getting my hand dyed looking yarn without having to deal with the stupid hank am I wrong I don't think so I can't be the only one that hates those stupid hanks hmm oh <laughs> Cherry lime me. One of my favorite drinks from Sonic. We hadn't had lunch, so we had some lunch. Anyway, I got several of that one. And let's see. Pink not to be left out. This one is green, turquoise, red. Is that one? I think maybe they got mixed up. Anyway, I think I might have already showed you that one. Now I showed you it was in a different, I think it was in a different pattern on that other one. Oh, this one is just gorgeous. Even I think this might be my favorite out of the turquoise, uh, deep sigh. That's what this one's called. Whoo, no doubt anyone who knows me, <laughs> can, you, can, you can really look at someone's yarn stash and tell what their favorite color is because they will have over half their stash in shades of that color without even meaning to. I realized that when I was reorganizing my stash that most of mine was geared toward colors like this. But I do have a lot of pinks and um, regular blue and some orange and you know, greens, lots of greens because my boys like green. But uh, this is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous there's two let's see which one is this one a Aegean striped I think I, I don't know if I called this one or not no yeah, in case I didn't show that one there's that one Aegean stripe I don't think I did I don't think I showed that one another one that looks hand dyed it looks like they just like they they made the yarn and then they left some splotches on it which is kind of a cool effect if you ask me it's a really cool effect but it's like got some splotches splotches on it but um, very beautiful yeah I already showed that one that one I wish you had put yep that one okay one more bag I know we're up to 19 minutes already. I'm trying to go faster. And then I got this in orange because my oldest son has a tattoo on his forearm that's a shamrock with the Irish flag in it and because we have Irish heritage. And uh, I figured uh, close to his birthday in September that I would crochet him a Irish flag for his wall and that is orange green and white and so 
this is you can't get more orange than this and of course I got two of these same stats as the green one from before and this is the green that's in the Irish flag not that light green this green this is a uh, jelly bean <laughs> they call it jelly bean I'm like can you just not say darker green or medium green I don't know And then I just got two of the whites for that. But this is, this has got the same construction as the other. I mean, it's really solid, solid construction of their yarn. Well, I guess those big ones took up a whole bag. <laughs> I don't know what wore me out more going through it or t uh, or actually shopping for it but I did buy three more of these hooks so that I could put them up in case I lost or they wore them out or broke them or something I just got them for to put up but uh, anyway so that is my Hobby Lobby haul Woo. <laughs> it was a lot it was a lot now I get to sort through it and uh, inventory it on my yarn stash app Ooh, so much fun <laughs> who doesn't like to play in their yarn any excuse to touch it and squish it and have fun with it <laughs> and just to remind everybody i'm still uh still got my giveaway going uh i did i, I did add some uh pins i got some special pins to go in there because I it dawned on me after the last video and where I showed the little nope the little crochet journals that I didn't have pins so I got some pins some fancy little bling pins that I'll be putting in the boxes so uh oh and some stitch count stitch counters I got some cute little stitch counter things that I uh bought a while back and had enough of to put in there so um I know, I know, I keep adding stuff, but the the good the giveaway's got another week or two, so um, it, I, I think I'm gonna give it another week. I was I was gonna give it till April 15th, but I think another week is good enough. Uh, a week from today, I think is good enough. So I'm gonna go in there and change the date to to a week from today because uh, it's the the entries have slowed down to a crawl. I, there's only just a few. A few entries here and there, so I think uh, another week is good. And um, if you want to tell somebody, tell them, tell them, hurry. <laughs> I may let it go to the 15th, and I may just cut it short. I don't know, it just depends on how many uh entries roll in. But uh, I love you all, I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I've had a wonderful day. I'm gonna sit back and uh, grab some crochet if my arm will let me because I'd overdid it over the weekend my mom requested some hats for some friends and I forgot how labor intensive some of that stuff is when you do a lot of knit and purl knit and purl on looms and uh, I did three hats back to back and and they were a lot of detail to them so they kind of aggravated my carpal tunnel <sighs> crochet doesn't do that to me so only the loom knitting does that to me so this, I guess because the motion is so is just fluid with the crochet. It's just a fluid motion and not a constant jerk like that. It's not a constant jerk like, like the loom knitting is. So strange as that may seem, that's the way it is. But uh, I love you all. Hope you all are having a wonderful day. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this yarny yumminess as much as I did. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Please uh, remember to adopt, don't shop. Your best friend's waiting for you at the shelter. Your next fur baby, a uh, dog or a cat, whichever. Sometimes they do actually have exotic animals at pet uh, ed rescues. So keep that in mind as well. I love you. God bless you. See you next time.